Hi friends and welcome to my channel. So today we are continue our GTA series. So we want to be able to equip the weapon and also to have the animation for it. So before the start tutorial, I want to say thank you so much for all your support because you keep these channels uh, going. And with your support, I want to help small developers to create their games and create a small studio to create video games all together. So if you want to support me, the best way to do it is to do it in my coffee page. So if you go to my coffee page, you can donate the minimum for one dollar if you want, or you can be a member if you want to have ecosy stuff. For example, the ecosy videos and access be, um, the video before they are published. So if you want to see all we I have, you can be on the post. It is gonna be all that. But if you want to see a uh, deep why I already uh, made already, so the best way to see it is go to my YouTube channel, subscribe to, to my channel in the right top corner here. If you click here, they're gonna open a list with all the video already made for uh, coffee members. So this is gonna be the last update. I update this list almost every day. These are free stuff for everybody. I update these two links from our to uh, drive Google, so they're gonna be more fast to download. That is the drive Google I use it from the uh, coffee members to download the um, project files. So I don't have allow this one yet because I have already soon uh, update the um, Coffee Strike Remake 0.2. So that's why I, I don't update this yet. So this is gonna be the new video added the, in the last update. And also all the exclusive videos I have already, and also all the unpublished tutorial videos, and also the all unpublished game videos. So if you want to um, talk to me directly, the best way to do it is go to my um, Discord channel. So if you have questions about your projects, or you have error, or you need help in your project, you can write me from the Discord. Um, if you have uh, some trouble from the tutorials or you want to a request for a video You can also write me from the discord for me It's more easy to respond from the discord to respond from the YouTube comments And also if you want to talk with me privately or sponsorship The you have to write me to my email to my email and the links from the discord and the coffee uh, links they're gonna be in the description on this video uh, also remember the 100% uh, of the money raised for YouTube coffee and sponsorship it will be for the creation of video game and for the YouTube channel so thank you and let's start the tutorial so let's open to real so open real here we already created this weapon in the last video so let's play and we can see this rotating so but we can pick it up yet so let's do that first so let's close here and we want to, um, we already have the main interface implemented in this weapon we do in the last video. So we want to change a little few things there. So let's go blueprint, main interface. And we don't, I don't want to use the end the vehicle because this is, uh, we can use the same function if we, uh, we want, but I want to change the other one. So it's more clear to understand. So let's gonna be add function and let's put here interactive so this function they want to be for interact uh, object and also we i want to put the player in the uh, reference so that is for avoiding casting all the time so let's go input and um, find this uh, dp character because we need the main character so dp character blueprint or your reference and call the name player so now we have the function so compile save and now we can say all this go our weapon blueprint so the gta weapons main weapon because they're gonna be modular and we can delete this we don't need it so in here and uh, interaction right click implement event so now we have this so when we pick up this i want to for now for testing destroy actor so let's destroy the actor uh, compile and save so now we need an interaction from the character so let's go create an input so go edit project settings and go to input and here in action mapping we want to create a new one so call this interact 
so you can use the button you want for so I don't use keyboards uh, keyboard so I using the gamepad so in here I want to set face uh, bottom bottom so there's gonna be a for the equi uh, box and X from the PlayStation so let's close this we don't need it anymore uh, for now so let's go to the player character so GTA uh, characters and the main character so DP character blueprint uh, we have this for testing so we don't need anymore so let's close this and here call that interact uh, no interaction no it's the main interface they're gonna be action events so let's go interact and we need to create something similar to this one because uh, this is the system we want so we can copy this to don't do it again we only need this stuff so let's copy because you already know how to make this so let's go to event graph and here we can paste this here so in the press we can go here and this one this actor you can change this if you want to the main weapon but I want to use this interact for all the actors because I want to be interactive on doors and pick up objects and things like that, items. So there's gonna be a more generic actor, so I wanna leave it in actor. Uh, so gonna be the main interface, that's fine. So in here in the array element, we need to call the other function. If you don't remember the name, the best way to do it is go call main interface, it's gonna give you all the functions you have. So I want to use interaction at this time. So in the branch through, I go to the interaction. They asking for the BP object reference. We are the DP character blueprint. So the one itself. So we already have this handy this stuff here. So let's read out this to more clear. And let's put this like that. So we can compile and save. So now we have this cool. Uh, interaction so now if we call interaction I want to stop looping because I don't want to be looping all the time just when we need it so let's go break and open this to this so we want to reroute again something like that so we can call up this interact so now we have everything safe in our blueprint so we can compile and save so now we can test it out so let's go play and if we go close to the weapon a press a i want to pick this up so now it's already made but we want to be attached to the player so let's do that so close this so we need to attach uh, from here so we can do it in here it's gonna be more easy so let's delete this because we don't need it right now so in here we want to attach the mesh of the player to this but i don't you can call it from here if you want so let's go get mesh so we have the mesh already and from here we want to call attach uh, component to component uh, why component to component because uh, we uh, want to attach the um, the component, the mess is a component, so we want to attach this uh, skeleton mess in there. So we want to attach the um, mess only. So we want to attach the mess only because we have rotation movement. I don't want to uh, make this rotation uh, in there. So let's do here and also we want to destroy the actor. But we want to do it this later so let's go to mess so that's going to be the target no because d is going to be the parent because d is the parent so the who, who is the main so the parent so they're going to be the character and the skeleton mess they're going to be the target so now we connect this to this and we need to put this to a snap to target and the only we need is to change the socket name uh, I believe it's weapon socket so let's try weapon socket if it is not working we need to check how the name is this so weapon socket so compound safe and let's try so let's go play and 
everything go go uh, close to the weapon I wanna pick it up if we have this in our weapon in our hand so that's great for attaching but we don't have the animation from this uh, weapon so let's actually make this that so close this so we need a reference from the character so the character blueprint and here let's go a variable so gonna be add so we can call this equip weapon so I'm gonna be a boolean so go in yeah we can leave it like that so gonna be false for default so let's go to main weapon and here when we attach this I want to from the player set equip weapon to true so we have this already true so we can reroute this if we want you don't have to but it's better to see what we are doing so let's do it like that so compile and save so now we need to go to the character uh, animation blueprint so let's find where this at so animation and dp animation blueprint so let's open this so why is this well later i want to fix this so let's check um and here so we have idle weapon we we'll go to event graph and here we want to change this uh, one more here so in sequence let's add a new one and let's go um, from the character so let's go we have the character already so that's uh, great so Actually, we want to change this a little bit because I don't want to use this uh, generic character. So we can delete this guy. He put here cast to uh, DP character blueprint. So connect this to here. Delete this guy. We don't need that. So let's go to reference and delete this guy. We don't need it. that because we don't need it so in here we want to promote this to variable so in this character is the same with the have character movement so we can connect this to here and this to here and we want to do the same we have in here to the unreal mate so let's go to get here and let's uh, convert this to valid and get so we have this if it's valid or not so let's connect this to here if it's valid i want to do all this stuff so let's compile and save uh, we can clean all this stuff but for now it's gonna be okay so we already made this uh, the entry so let's go in here so there's gonna be db blueprint get so we need to get our equip uh, weapon and we want to set it a new here so that we want to promote a variable we can call the key weapon that's gonna be fine so and uh, let's connect three uh, to here so let's do this so let's compile and save and go to locomotion so we have all this stuff that's fine we can you can use all this stuff so they're gonna be idle so in here we want to create a boolean so let's go uh, blend by boolean blend pose by boolean so right now if it's false i want to do this it is gonna be here and the boolean we want is the key weapon so if this is false we want to make uh, because we don't have to keep nothing so it's gonna be idle if we are we already picked something we want to put our weapon idle reference here so we want to be this so connect this to true so let's compile and save and let's test this out so let's go play and if we go uh, keep we have already keep our weapon and our character 
so also we need when we're walking so let's go to locomotion again go to wagon roll and here we want to do the same so in here uh, boolean so blend post by bool and the same this is gonna be false because we are not keep nothing at all yet so the active value they're gonna be the key weapon and the true they're gonna be the same where they go right by okay I forgot the name so I don't write for hip put like this but we have a small error right here because if you go play if we keep this stuff I want to move the leg with this guy so let's do that so in here we want to copy this stuff but we need to only copy this one so let's copy and paste in here because I want to use this blend so this one the ground speed gonna be speed the same and here we can blend this so let's actually D is the main one and this is gonna be the sub so in here we want to blend um, blend bomb by Layer the blend for bomb, then go and uh, este. So, this one, so that's gonna be the base, and this is gonna be the blend post we want, and connect this to here. So, now let's move this stuff to look more clean. And the laser blend for bomb, we need to choose here when we want. So, there's gonna be layer setup, so gonna be a member one we need to add a new one so let's go to index uh, what we want and the bone name we want to separate it's gonna be Spain 1 so they're gonna be S one I believe is the name so let's check uh, pass so go to skeleton spine 01 so they're gonna be right there so let's close this spine 01 and blend deep we can change this later but we need to make this rotation so they're gonna blend also when they rotate the chart so it's better to have it so let's compile and save and we can test this out already so let's go play so now if we keep the weapon now we have blend this to that so you can see the back of the guy is already too blend so I want to be more uh, smooth blending right now so if you want to more blend, uh, smooth you need to change this blend deep so the good number I see in the most uh, animation is 3 or 4 so let's do 4 for be safe so now if we compound save and go play again if I keep the weapon right now they have better weapon and the back look a little better so you need to play with these numbers so to make this uh, really more clean yeah so that's gonna be it for this video so in the next video we want to be able to have offset to this guy and also uh, we can shoot in two from here or we can aim in to have a different animation to if we don't have if we don't want to uh, shoot them from the hip we want to shoot them maybe from the uh, iron side so that's gonna be another uh, choose from this character so that's gonna be it for this video thank you for watching and if you want to support me you can do it from my coffee uh, channel so I want to make a small studio so I can help uh, people to create their game and projects, I can help him with the uh, asset and tutorials and things like that. So they're gonna be more uh, easiest for everybody. So thank you for watching again. I see you in the next video. So bye bye.